Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video because I am talking about this pencil right here. If you're not familiar with it, it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And it is a really close dupe for the Anastasia pencils from what I hear. Um, I've tried the Anastasia pencil and I think chocolate brown. And I might get like shunned for saying this, but I did not like it at all. I hated it actually. So I wanted to give my opinion and review on it because I feel like a lot of people don't know about it really. Everyone that I've told about it and has bought it loves it. So this is what it looks like. It's micro brow. On one end, it's the pencil. The good thing about it is the pencil is so skinny. The pencil is so skinny that it mimics hair. If you see, this is in the color espresso because my eyebrow hairs are really, really dark. I don't have the brow pencil on, these are just my natural brows. But I'm gonna fill them using this just so you can see. And then on the other end, it has a spoolie. And the spoolie, I like the spoolie a lot only because it's really rough. So it really combs through everything. When I first saw it, it was, I believe, $4.99. And I was so excited, so I bought one. And then after I tried it, I that was when I returned my Anastasia one. I used to use Max Spiked Liner, and I used that. I used that for like two years back to back. And then um, I heard about this one, and I'm like, all right, let me try this one. I tried it, and Spiked is I believe like seventeen dollars, and then the Anastasia ones are twenty one, and this one was only four ninety nine. So like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take a plunge. Like, why not? It's only five dollars. So I go, I try it, and I was in love with it. Like, it has been my favorite pencil so far. So I went back to get two backups just because I was like, no, I need to buy as many of these as I can. They raised the price to $9.99, so I was pissed. But then they did, like, a buy one, get one half off. So I bought two anyway because I was going to buy them no matter what because $10.99 is still better than $17 or $21. So I bought two more. I'm now on my second one. They've lasted a little bit, I would say a little bit longer than my spiked. Spike usually would only last me a couple weeks, maybe a month at most. So this one lasts me a little bit longer than that. The first one that I bought was probably in the beginning of May, beginning of June. And I'm just starting this new one. This is what the packaging looks like. I think right now Ulta is having NYX for 40% off. So I think these are only back to $4.99. So yeah, basically I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the, I guess, brow tutorial. Um, I'll show you guys everything that I use for my brows. My brows are pretty dark for the most part. So when I fill them, I only do it mainly just to get like the little sections that I'm missing some hair like right around here or like right there and then like up here and a little bit in my tail. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first I'll comb through with the spoolie. Doesn't matter, usually I start with my right one, so I guess I'll go ahead and start with the right one. My mirror's over here, so if I look like I'm not paying attention, it's because I'm looking over here. So first I'll start right in the front. Most people start in the back, but I don't. I like to fill this part right here. I feel like that's the most important part of the eyebrow. So I do very, very, very light strokes just to connect this to that. So that's just a few strokes. That was what, maybe like maybe like four or five strokes. So then I keep. So that's how I do the entire bottom. And every time I always comb through them. And in the front I always comb up. That. So I'll just go in so you can see. For the top, I pretty much do the same thing, but for the top, I start a little bit further back. So I'll start right around here, like mid brow.
I don't really create an arch because I kind of already have one. Then I always comb through a lot in the front just because you can't have that looking like a sharpie. Right in the front is where I go really, really lightly because I don't want it to look harsh. So this is pretty much the difference. This one has been filled in. This one has not. Like I said, I have really, really dark hairs. So it isn't much that I have to do for that. There's that one. And then I'll go ahead and do this one. This one might be a little bit more out of focus. So if anything, I'll speed through this one. So be right back. So that's pretty much what they're gonna look like. To me, the most important part afterwards is cleaning it up because I don't ever get my eyebrows done. So I got my eyebrows done two Aprils ago, so I would say a little over a year. So what I do to make my eyebrows look very crisp underneath, all I do is really pluck out the little hairs right here. So I take a concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in sand, and I have this tiny little brush, angled brush, and I dip it into this little part of the concealer just so I have a tiny, tiny little bit of product like that. And then I go underneath my eyebrow. This part I'm also very careful with because this can ruin everything. So it's like I outline it. I do it like that and then I start feathering this down just to make it look like it's fading and then I always tap it with my finger to blend it so there's one so that one looks super cleaned up and this one doesn't so I do the same thing Just take a little bit about that much product Outline it like that. Then I start feathering it down and then I blend with my finger. Normally I do my eyebrows before I put on my foundation so all this isn't in the way. So if you have been debating at all about this pencil, I can honestly say that this pencil has changed my eyebrow game. A lot of people say that they don't think it lasts long enough. I definitely do. It lasts me throughout the entire day until I get either home from work or if I'm going out, whatever. My eyebrows don't really fade off. I guess because I have really, really dark eyebrows, so they don't normally fade because the hair's there. I just fill in whatever I feel like is either spotty or I want to make it look sharper. But this is what they look like. I love this pencil. I will probably go and get a couple more during the sale. It's only, I guess, $9.89. So if you have been thinking about it, I think you should jump on it because it is amazing, especially for the price. You cannot beat it. Again, I use the color Espresso. I think there's a ton of them of different colors. The concealer that I use to clean up is the Maybelline Fit Me in Sand just because it's yellow toned, so it cleans everything up. And then, I don't remember where I got this. Oh, this is a Sephora brush. A little tiny Sephora brush. On this end, there's a flat top and then on this end there's just a fluffy little thing so that is pretty much it on this little quick tutorial let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like to see I'm probably gonna do a June favorites probably more with like clothes shoes jewelry and things like that if there's anything else you want to see definitely let me know
follow me on Instagram at Ivana underscore Cora. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can tell that I did my hair, but I did. I don't have roots anymore. And my hair is an orange and I cut it. I feel like I cut it a lot. Everybody, nobody can notice, but whatever. Eyebrows on super fleek.